I'm gonna paint this. Got it from Habitat from Humanity Restore. I'm gonna paint it boho blue and faded burlap and mint chip. All I've done so far is warm water and Dawn, any dish soap. Uh, I have not put any kind of, I'm about to do a magic trick. I have not put any primer, any sanding, no. We found this at the Habitat for Humanity Restore in Fayetteville, Arkansas. When we lived there, now we're in South Carolina. This is not, that's not professional, but it's what I do. Can you guys hear me? This is faded burlap and it's one of my favorite colors of neutrals. But I Let me know in the comments if you have questions, of course. This is really just a base coat to give me a base for the blending and things. And it's gonna be the lightest color of the blending. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Bobo Blue because I'm not good at delayed gratification. So this is called Bohemian Blue. You see the color? It's the most amazing color. So I'm using the same brush, we're blending. We're not layering, we're blending. There's so many things in this life that we cannot control, illness and death and the stressful things. That's, that's scary, that's, that's horrible. Paint is not one of those things. It's just paint. Um, we can take it off, we can put more on, we can strip it, we can sand it, we can mess it up, we can paint over it, we can move on, I, it just doesn't matter, it's just paint. So when you think of it that way, instead of like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna ruin this thing, you can't ruin it because it's not permanent. This is called mint chip, and it's about the color of like, I feel like pistachio-ish. No, it's, it's fainter than that. I just want to brush this. Look at the color we are getting. Oh my goodness, look. That's just delicious. Can you see? I'm gonna get a little closer.
I'm using very little paint. I'm discovering that that's one of the mistakes some people make when they get um, the DIY paint and they say it, it doesn't look like that. What am I doing wrong? A lot of times they're using a lot of paint, thinking, well, it looks so thick and delicious, you've got to be like putting it on really thickly, and, and we don't. It's um, got a bit of a learning curve there. You've got to learn that it's, it just kind of takes a little. the one that I use for the deepest. And I'll go back to that later, where I can smooth it out and neutralize it with nice If it starts to thicken up on you, whoop, and you can't really see that, but just trust me, go hide with me. It's, it's like butter now. The original finish, the color, was beautiful. <laughs> But, too late, that ship has sailed. So you can see what we've done so far. What we still have to do is enough. Okay. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.